Hey guys, what's up? It's Tom again, and this is going to be a re-upload version of my 99 mining guide. In this guide, I will show you for you beginners and you experts who want to get 99 mining, or just a couple levels up on mining. So let's get started. So first off, I want to show uh, for these beginner miners out here. If you are wanting to get 99 mining, this is not the part of the guide for you. So Wherever you want to start out, I'm going to start out at this bank right here in Faldor. You're going to make your way down this path right here. Then you're going to go by the party room. And then you're going to this little house right here with a ladder. I'm Not a ladder, I mean a little, uh, little, I don't fucking know, a little staircase going down. And then you should end up in here. Now, down here, you can, this is for like all levels of mining, really. I mean, you have your coal, your iron, and all that shit. And also, you have your mining guild over here. I don't think I can go in there, am I? Holy shit, I can go in there. Nice. Now, in the mining guild, you have a whole bunch of freaking coal. Like, you have a lot of coal. And it's actually a, a pretty good money maker, but, you know, it's actually a pretty slow experience. So, this is actually not a good way to get 99 mining, unless you have th the patience of a saint. But, if you don't have the patience of a saint, I'll see you guys in a couple seconds. Okay guys, this is the part of the guy that gets pretty serious right now with experience and leveling. So right now we're gonna start with the shanty patch. You're, of course you're gonna need your pickaxe, of course, if you get your if you forget the pickaxe, well you're a total fucking idiot. So to start things out you're going to travel to the camp. Now, once you get to the camp, this is where it gets kind of confusing. You're going to run down to the bandit camp, make your way pretty much to, if you have done Desert Treasure, you would know the mirror part right here. Run past that. Then you should see a little quest symbol. And then you're going to make your way down to the quarry. Now, right here, the trick is, well, I'm already fucking dehydrating. You want to find two rocks that are right next to each other, which it makes a lot easier for your, for you and your experience will go faster. Now, usually, when you, it goes pretty quick. Please do not fail. Do not fail. Come on. See, that guy has a double experience. Uh, steel and creation pickaxe right there. It's actually very helpful. Do not fail. Okay, good. Usually, uh, if you drop them, and, uh, it will actually make it a lot easier for you because it won't fill up on your inventory. Now, this is just not for, uh, 99 mining, but, uh, this is also good for getting, you know, to Lunar Diplomacy, which is very helpful getting 99 mining because you can also use that, uh, spell Humidity, which will, uh, restore your water skins for you, making it a lot easier for you and yourself not having to bank a lot. Also, a water tiara is very helpful, too. You can get this by doing, uh, what is, what is it? Uh, fuck. Uh, dealing with scarabs, I think? I'm pretty sure that's the quest. Uh, I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure that's the quest. War tier is also very helpful. It's pretty much like the humidity spell, but just a lot easier on yourself. So if you have done that quest, I suggest you enchant your tiara and go get 99 mining. So yeah, guys, this is actually one of the probably one of the best spots not there are other spots in this whole entire quarry right here I mean I see some people that like where the fuck are you going oh my god he went all the way around oh I guess you had to go around well you could also if your mining is pretty high you can just go across the rock I mean it's I've seen people do it and some people say it helps I mean it's just like a kind of like a loophole really and you just go down with it I mean it's not one of the best spots but it's pretty good if it gets kinda of crowded so uh, yeah guys I am done with this guide please comment rate and subscribe to my channel please comment the video if you liked it comment the video even if you hated it also comment the video if I, if I forgot something so yeah guys I am all done thank you for watching the video please rate 5 I'm all done here see ya good night